well, um, uh, I, was, uh, I was basically a sportsman all through my life. Starting from my, from my school days or college days, I've been playing all sorts of games. So I have a natural I mean, net for sports. So after joining Army, obviously it was difficult to carry on with hard games like football, hockey, etc. So I picked up tennis and um, at a later stage, sometimes around 1999, I started playing golf. I became a member here and uh, uh, started playing. I never thought I'll uh, develop liking for this game because uh, before coming here, I used to think it is a useless game. Somebody is wasting his time on the ground with the feet and the ball. So I really didn't never thought I'd develop it. But surprisingly, um, within very short time, I I simply got addicted. I was so much addicted that I used to play. 27 holes even, 27 or 36 holes in uh, every day. So that's how, that's, uh, that's the type of interest I got in this So I continued and uh, my initial days uh, were just to, uh, I focused on uh, learning the game and playing well and to keep it to that Then I, uh, I found and I read and came to know really different journals on uh, golf that you really don't enjoy golf until you know the rules. Or to put it in the other way, you, <coughs> if you know the rules, you really enjoy golf. So I thought uh, if that is true, why not uh, learn the rules? And it's very simple. You have a, very small country. If you go through it, you can learn the basic rules. So I started reading and uh, I found it very interesting. And uh, it's really true. After I read the book, after I learned some of the rules, and then when I played, I found I really enjoyed much more. Enjoyed much more than uh, what I used to play when I did not know the rules. So and then uh, side by side, I mean, playing golf and uh, at the same time, I started uh, uh, taking a little more interest in running the rules. And uh, ultimately, I, I thought, why not get qualified? I've uh, been able to read the books, learn the rules, why not get qualified? So, you know, from the r and they give you some vacancies for tests. You have to take some tests. If you want to qualify rules, uh, you do it in three different stages. You see, you have to pass level one, level two, and level three. There are three levels through which you really become uh, an expert on rules. And the final one is level three. And level three is held usually in Scotland, St. Andrews. And uh, it also takes place in other places where they study them. So I was lucky to go to St. Andrews, Scotland to take the level 3 exam. And uh, luckily I passed. When I, uh, when I went, there were two vacancies given. So myself and Lieutenant Kalapari, both of us had gone. And fortunately, both of us had passed. And um, since then, we have been. Uh, yeah, we have been uh, referring in all tournaments that's uh, taking place here and outside. I had the chance to uh, refer uh, three or four, in uh, four international tournaments which took place in Bangladesh. That is uh, three Asian tour and uh, no, more than three, four, two or three PGTI tours and there was one uh, Asian development tour. So in all these tours, I had the chance to um, refer to uh, 
as uh, the dance to grew as the red green in this uh, Olympics. And um, uh, I also got an invitation to go and attend the teach the teachers seminar in Singapore. And myself along with the Front Party, both of us had gone. And that is the place that was conducted by RD. Representative coming from RD conducted that teach the teachers seminar in Singapore. So there uh, we had a good interaction with the RD staff and they got our profile on how much experience we have gathered after having got qualified in the rules uh, level teams. And, and I think they were quite happy and satisfied with our profile. And uh, uh, to my utter surprise, I found that uh, I was invited. I've been invited to uh, do as a referee in one of the international tournaments that just took place. That is the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship, which uh, which was which was held in Colin Collington, uh, New Zealand. So I went there and did as a referee, and that was an excellent. Uh, experience, experience, I would say, and uh, it has uh, it was a wonderful time, and I think it helped, it helped me learn much more about golf, about the rules, and and uh, increase my confidence level. Uh, so I am very grateful to R and A for having sent that invitation to me, and I hope I will continue to do it, continue to keep my interest alive and uh, do much more than what I am doing in the coming years. As far as I remember, I think I joined as uh, Chairman Tournament Committee uh, to of Kumitola Golf Club in the year uh, 2006. So this is almost 11 years that I am doing as Chairman Tournament Committee. And as Chairman Tournament Committee, I have been organizing all the tournaments that take place in KGC. In addition, recently I have been given the responsibility as uh, the director tournament committee of the Bangladesh Golf Federation also. And side by side, I also do as director rules at the Bangladesh Golf Academy. So uh, all these I am actually doing out of my shared interest. I enjoy doing it. And uh, as long as uh, the club and the federation wants me, I'd love to continue giving my services uh, for golf. My message to the golfers would be very simple. Uh, we should come and play more and more. I would like more and more golfers to come and play here. And uh, I would, my humble advice would be to learn the basic rules and etiquettes. If you can do that, you will enjoy this golf much more than what you are doing without having learned. So my advice would be, please learn the basic rules and etiquettes and uh, play this game as much as you can. Well, uh, uh, I have... Uh, from my own uh, personal experience, I can only say that uh, this is a great opportunity. It is a, um, uh, this is a great, uh, you'll get, you get great enjoyment out of uh, knowing rules. And uh, uh, if you can be a quali if you can qualify yourself in the uh, level three or uh, the different uh, level of uh, exams, uh, you will and uh, you'll be able to refer uh, tournaments and to begin with you can do refer the local tournaments and subsequently if you do well you'll get a chance to do as referee in international tournaments you'll have a chance to go outside so it's a it's a good um, it's a good passion i would say I mean, if you want to take it as a career also i think it's a it's a big offer it's a great thing it's a great thing to take place as a career. Well, uh, I must congratulate the golfers because uh, uh, the very fact is 
that we, never, we really do not have any magazine, we accept the golf house. We never had any magazine, so it is uh, the first magazine that has come out and whoever has taken the initiative, I would congratulate him that he has taken the pain to bring a magazine, such a wonderful magazine, where through which uh, the golf is being promoted and uh, as you know, media always plays a very important role in promoting anything, particularly sports. And uh, since we did not have any magazine, I would like to uh, say it's a great job that Golf House is doing to promote golf in Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you very much.